So the first thing you want to do is just open up your game capture HD software. Um, I'll get to do a good sort of um, video tutorial of how to download that on their website. I recommend viewing that the first time you're installing your Elgato. It's very useful. Make sure it will direct you to the right site. So download that. And then once you have downloaded that, you're going to open it up and then you'll come to this sort of screen here where it will tell you what input thing you're going to be signaling your Elgato into. And then once you've opened this up and it's sort of looking like something like this, you're going to want to then find your capture tab. Uh, it should be in the top right of your screen. I've indicated it here with this sort of big red circle for you. Just make sure you've selected that. And then what you're going to do is you're going to go to this little sort of picture here where the capture, where the game capture card is, like the one you've actually in, like purchased yourself. And then you're going to want to just press this sort of setting button again, indicated by this red circle on the right of your screen there. And then once you press this, you're going to get something like this, which is the setting software for your Elgato card. Um, and then you can customize this to how you want. But what I did is I've slightly tweaked it and this seemed to have solved it for me. So hopefully it'll work for anyone else having these issues. And then what you want to do is um, just turn off this 60 FPS button here. Just click that again, indicated by this sort of red circle here and on the right of the screen. It's not going to affect the quality of your gameplay because it's still here, says next to it that the HD is recording in 1080p, which is perfect. So it's not going to affect any gameplay. I think it's just to do with how it uh, previews on your screen, not the actual quality of your gameplay. So just make sure you've got that turned off and then press the OK. And then you're going to go back onto this once you've OK'd that. And then once you're in this section again of like the sort of default home screen, you're going to want to press the settings button up here on the right indicated by this little red circle in the top right there and that's going to take you to this screen which is the game capture hd preferences screen and then once you're on this you need to make sure that you're on this advanced tab here again indicated by my red circle there and then once you've pressed this make sure you've set your decoder and encoder drop downs to the software built in and that's just going to hopefully solve the issues of your gameplay freezing. Um, and it has worked for me, so hopefully it will work for anyone else having this issue. It took me a while to sort of figure this out, but I found it on some sort of Reddit forum. So I thought I'd just make a video on it just to help anyone else out there because it drives me a bit wild. So hopefully I can help someone else out of this issue. Um, and I hope this works for you guys. Uh, if not, Try and comment on the video and I'll see if I can find anything else. But I hope it works for you. So hopefully you don't have to buy any other software. Anyway, cheers for watching.